There it is. The last on the carpet in the RV. Um, apparently this is helping. She says she's helping, but I don't think that she's helping. Hey guys, Tony's at work today and I have the day off because I actually have to go to training on Saturday. Today is Wednesday. I have today off and today I'm going to finally start tearing into the carpet here in the bedroom and start the whole flooring process. I'll do my best to get footage. Uh, Tony's not here today so I have to try to do this all on my own. We'll see how it goes. I lied when I said I was by myself today. Kitty is always here. I did one thing before I get started. Um, I did, here's a nice before, hopefully. I did hit it with a shot back before I start ripping out just to hopefully cut down on some of the dust and everything. That's a, just a personal preference. You don't have to do it, but that's what I did. Here we go. everything in an RV the carpet goes like underneath the bed and it also they also like when they build these things they must put the carpet in first and then put the cabinets and the walls in because it's literally the worst thing doesn't make any sense but anyway I found an easy solution for doing around the bed there was that piece of plywood that laid across here and it just had two screws in it so I just popped it out and now I'll be able to cut the carpet back in here I won't cut it all out just enough to get flooring in underneath the bed I'll cut it out and I'll make the flooring look better in the end and it'll make my life easier for a tiny bit easier getting the carpet out it's not gonna be easy Especially over here, and then I don't know what I'm doing with the carpet that runs up there. so far so my time-lapse video decided to stop right in the middle so you missed me ripping all this out still got over here I'm gonna see if I can get the camera on it but I'm not sure if I will be able to or not it's hot in here all right finish it out.
play the spotlight with carpet. Gonna knock that out after lunch. Need to give my back a rest. Then I have to shop back. Clean this up. And we'll see what else I do. See what my back can handle. Lunchtime. There it is. The last of the carpet in the RV. It's done. Now we just have to floor. And the hard part's done. The hard stuff is done. No. So I'm doing a little project today. We want to replace our faucet in the bathroom because the one that's in there is ugly. And uh, we'll show you that before I take it out. Tawny wants me, we bought this faucet right here uh, from Lowe's. It's a project source one. They're cheap faucet, so it wasn't that expensive. And she decided that she wanted me to try spray painting it like we've been spray painting all the cabinet handles and everything I'm gonna try it I don't know if it's gonna work I'm gonna try priming it first and then try the spray paint and we'll see if it works this piece off I took the aerator off just so that it wouldn't get clogged with paint or anything because you kind of need that to let water through there it is primed ready for paint I would just have to wait for it to dry It has been freed. Finally. Took a lot of work. Ooh. I think we need to clean that. <laughs> a bit nasty. Hopefully it all goes smoothly and the next thing will actually work and we won't be putting that back in. This nasty, ugly thing that barely, like it's really hard to turn the water on and off. Um, apparently this is helping. She says she's helping, but I don't think that she's helping. Ma'am, it's about to get real wet under there, hopefully not. <laughs> How'd it do? Good job. Wow, so much better. It looks so much nicer too. I'm so glad we did it black. Thinking about doing these black also and then all the metals would match in this pretty much whole RV. Easier than the kitchen sink. bedroom floor if you are we probably won't have anything posted yet but maybe about like our house journey literally last weekend we looked at a house and we ended up not doing it partly because it kind of felt rushed because our RV is not even done like our flooring's not done and we have some finishing touches we really need to make so we're trying to push hard this weekend to finish our bedroom flooring so we're gonna take the whole 
weekend as much as we can. It's also Super Bowl weekend, so Sunday night we'll be obviously taking off. But hopefully we'll be really, really far done by then. Luke has taken stuff out of the room. He has vacuumed and we're about to get started flooring this room and hopefully it doesn't take all day. He's decided that he's going to run the floor going this way, even though the floor out here in our living area goes the other way. I think that's the best decision too because of this seam thing right here. It'd be kind of weird doing it the other way. We've been storing our flooring under the bed. Kind of hard, Luke having to work in really tight spaces and my, our kitten going everywhere, wanting to play with everything. This is why we like working with this one, because I don't know, it's just it cuts easy. Pretty much all you have to do is just score. You basically just have to break through the top decorative part, and then I mean it's good to get a little deeper, but, and then it basically just breaks right off. As long as you put in a new, like he puts in a brand new blade in, in, in his yeah. X-Acto knife every time he starts on doing the floor. And even if it starts feeling dull. Yeah, it has to be sharp. But... Vinyl yep. planking. And it's flexible, so you don't have to fight with stuff that doesn't bend. So, like and that, it's... that cut right there would have required like a jigsaw and everything. With, Laminate. Like, real floor, yeah. so. And it's light, so if you're pulling your camper, which we won't be, we don't plan on it, but if you are, then it doesn't add like barely any weight to your camper. Our kitten is literally trying to help us open the boxes. Thank you for your help. And she was just, she's trying to bite the flooring. What is happening? The floor nice and tight in there and the cool thing is well he's gonna use that piece he just used for he cut for this to be a starter piece there but the cool thing is that under the bed there's just enough space for one more piece of wood so he's not gonna have to cut like a huge dent out of this to get it to fit like it slides under the bed perfectly so that's a good design that they give you some cushion under the bed. I don't know if you can see it. Would this help? Yeah. So you can see under the bed before that weird thing starts. There's literally just enough room for a plank to fit. So here too, he's gonna be able to just slip a plank in under there. So that's a lot easier over here. Just gotta notch out his corner and then it should be pretty smooth because under here, it also goes under from the edge of the bed. It goes indents away so he won't have to have perfectly cut edges under the bed. Putting in the final piece. Hey friends, Tawny. I actually was editing the video and was realizing it was about to be going really long if I finished with the bathroom footage. So I'm gonna stop it right here, right where Luke lays that last piece of our bedroom flooring before we do our trim work and stuff. You'll have to tune in to part nine coming next of when we finish our bathroom flooring and our trim work around, I think the entire RV we're gonna finish up in the next part. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, part eight of our RV reno. If you like this video, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can catch part nine when it comes out and our RV tour, which will be coming up very, very soon. Let us know in the comments below what you think of our renovation so far, specifically our bathroom and our bedroom. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.